Hey again. Well, I got the camera out. I thought I would update on um, Layla's 18 month appointment that she had on the 1st of December. Um, she had three vaccines that day. She had DTaP, hepatitis A, and the flu shot. I'm looking at her little record here. So she was not a happy camper with me after that, of course. And also she was 33 and a quarter inches long. Um, and that was the 90th percentile. She's only 23 pounds, 9.2 ounces. And that's the 39th percentile, but they really weren't worried about that at all. They, you know, she's a preemie, but that has nothing to do with it. She's just lean and she was being very picky eater for a few weeks and then she got sick and then she was picky again. And it was just, crazy and it's just driving us nuts and her head circumference is 19 and quarter inches around and that's the 96 percentile but she's always had a big head so it's always been that high she's got a noggin like her mama so let me put this away um we have a potty for her and we let her sit on it sometimes but she just stands on it most of the time while I'm drying my hair um she's not really I mean she likes it she likes to sit on it and we call it the potty and anytime she sits on it and she sits for a good while um, without the diaper and everything I'll give her a sticker and she loves that but she's just not ready because she doesn't she still has wet diapers when she wakes up and she, there's just a pee pot she just pees all the time <laughs> she doesn't hold it so she's not ready yet but um we'll know when she is um, she has been going to her daycare school um, since the beginning of November, once a week, so I think this past week was the fifth time going. Um, the other day I took her to her doctor's appointment, the first, it was her fifth time. I just picked her up at, at one, and she only spent a half day there, because she had, um, her appointment at 1.45. And, um... She likes it. The first few days of, or times, of course, she wasn't very happy, but she um, uh, just holds on to that passy and the lovey and is just uh, in her blanket and won't let go. But um, she's starting to be more comfortable with the people there, and um, it's great. I mean, it's a small place. It's not corporate or anything, and um, it's very affordable. So it's great. And... Um, it makes me comfortable. I tried it. I started doing it early because when I start nursing school in January, she'll have to go um, twice a week. She'll go Monday. What else is she doing? She's got four top teeth, two bottom teeth, and she was cutting all four molars at once, poor thing, a couple months ago. I thought she was getting another one down here at the bottom, but I think it's just still barely. It's getting ready to come through. It's not there yet. Yeah, she's really good with crayons. Like, she'll hold it like if she's supposed to, you know. And she'll go like this with it when she's coloring. Instead of like this, she'll hold it like that and do that with it. It's cute. Um, she's saying more words as far as trying to. Like balloon, dog, mama, dada, of course. Um, da, da, da. And she'll go woof, 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 woof. Because <laughs> that's what a dog says. Um, and she'll point to every body part. Nose, mouth, eyes, tummy, belly button, elbow, knee, feet. feet. That everything, you know, hair. She'll point to everything. Um, she loves using a fork. She really doesn't eat with her hands much at all. She uses a little cup with a straw. My pediatrician's big on open cup, but I just, she could do it. She just doesn't, she would get it everywhere, and I don't feel like cleaning that up. Um, the biggest thing, the challenge for us right now is the pacifier. I, She's really attached to it. And she's attached to her lovey and her blanket. She's attached. Hardcore. And it's a challenge right now with that. Um, other than going cold turkey or only doing nighttime, nap time, passy only. Those are the only things that, I, that we can think of. But I'm just having a hard time thinking that just the nighttime would work with her. I feel like it's going to have to be cold turkey. But I don't want to traumatize her. So if you guys have any suggestions on that, that'd be great on how you got your kid to get off the pacifier, because it's bad. I mean, 
the first time we tried to go cold turkey with her, like a month ago, she screamed for two hours and she almost threw up in the kitchen. It was that bad, so. And I told the pediatrician about it, she's like, well, it might be traumatic for her, but it won't hurt her. I'm like, well, isn't traumatic hurtful? I mean, I don't know, it's just very confusing. And Adam's ready to give it up now, and I understand where he's coming from. He's looking at me. But I'm just, I just want to make sure that I've thought about all the options on how to get it away from her. Because I have a feeling that cold turkey is going to be the only way. Because she won't understand the whole, well, you know, we need to give them to such and such baby because he or she needs them. She doesn't care. She's like, that's her pacifier, you know? Um, I really, and it's not just because she needs to suck on, I think it's just a habit. He's like, like he said, it's like a cigarette or something. It's, it's an addiction, it seems like right now. It's just a habit to have something there. Um, bottles were so easy to get her off of those, but I think it's because she still had that pasty as a backup. And that's when she became attached, was when the bottle went away. She, she could care less before. So we should have just given it all up at the same time. That's what I recommend to people. That have, if you're weaning off of bottles, get rid of the passy at the same time. I recommend it. At first I was like, well, she needs to have something. I know better next time around. Um, and people that don't.